Hi, I'm Shen Feng, PhD student in AIS at Rutgers. Today I'm going to short, uh, shortly present my summer research proposal project, the cryptocurrency pricing for financial and tax reporting. In this project, our, our objective is trying to argue that uh, the existing, existing accounting practice for cryptocurrency is just simply using the closing price. We, we think that it is uh, not, not such a reasonable method. So we're trying to build up a methodology for the cryptocurrency fair value measurement. We are, we, are trying, we are also trying to argue that the cryptocurrency should be measured through the fair value accounting like other uh, finan financial assets because the, the major purpose for holding cryptocurrency for most companies is uh, for the speculative investment purpose. Uh, in the literature review part, we review many regulations from U.S. governmental agencies such as SEC, IRS, and CFTS, and we CFTC, and we found that they, they these different governmental agencies hold different perspective for cryptocurrencies. And for the accounting standards, we reviewed U.S. GAAP and IFRS, and we found that uh, there is no specific accounting guidance under these two major accounting standard framework. So. We, we, we review the conceptual framework is trying to, trying to find uh, the more, the higher hierarchy for the accounting treatment for cryptocurrencies. So we propose that the cryptocurrencies should be recognized as intangible investment assets through fair value accounting. Uh, the all unrealized holding gain or loss for cryptocurrency should be immediately recognized in the current earnings. And also the, the fair value measurement methodology like uh, our proposed methodology should compare ac across all firms or market participants rather than using the measure specifically to one, one single company. So we believe that our proposed methodology provide more timely, comparable, and verifiable information that could be enhanced, that could, could use to enhance the relevance and faithful representation, the two major qualitative characteristics for financial reporting. So about our methodology, we obtain the real transaction data from major, from uh, worldwide major cryptocurrency exchanges. And the first step is trying to determine the principal market for each crypto, crypto, or crypto fiat currency pairs. And then we set up, we set up uh, different criteria to determine, uh, to, to determine the principal market, such as no, uh, whether these uh, ex these crypto exchanges have no your customer KYC policy and about the jurisdiction of this the these cryptocurrency exchanges and the freshness data etc uh, criteria and the last step uh, after determining after determining the principal market for each cryptocurrency uh, for each currency pair and we we can determine the fair value estimates from this uh, determined principal market. So there are two examples in the following slides. The first, the first example is the Bitcoin USD uh, pair. So this is the, the, the tr uh, real pricing date, price data in this morning. So you can, uh, this is the pricing data from many major uh, exchanges for this uh, Bitcoin and USD pair. So as you can see, there is uh, uh, there is no no clear clear difference between between these major exchanges. However, the Ethereum, the second example, Ethereum USD dollars, as you can see, there are there are higher difference, there are higher variance price price inform price data from these major exchanges. So our 
methodology is trying to identify the principal market for this Ethereum USD USD pair from this different uh, different major cryptocurrency exchange first using our uh, setup criteria and then after determining the the principal market then we we can determine the fair value from this specific principal market so if you are if you are interested in this project you can download the working paper the most updated version of our working paper from Luca company website because this is the this project is the joint cooperation between the Ruggers and Luca company thank you